In this field, we have some young immortal trees. Immortal trees grow quite large and they are natural habitats for wild animals. Here we can see a group of immortal trees and the largest of them all has already lost some leaves. The remainder of its leaves has all turned yellow and they will soon fall off. The immortal tree blooms once a year and during this process they lose their leaves. By the time they have developed pods, they have lost all of their leaves. This is very bad news for the animals that live on them. Very bad news, especially for the iguana. The iguana, who is accustomed to being camouflaged, is now exposed. The immortal tree now has pods and most of its leaves has fallen off. The iguana is now left exposed. Its enemies can spot him easily. He has to try very hard to keep himself concealed. Clinging to the branches and moving side to side is about all the iguana can do to avoid detection. The iguana has to avoid both day and night predators. Predators such as hawks, owls, opossums, and his biggest fear, man. The male iguana is very territorial and reluctant to leave its tree, as the tree provides him with food, water, and protection most of the time. The younger iguanas tend to live on the smaller trees to avoid being attacked by the larger males. But the smaller trees do not offer as sturdy a home as the larger trees and this leads to the fight for territory. During the dry season, which is also the mating season, the iguanas would usually leave their territory to feed and mate. It is during this period, both large and small iguanas, male and female, are found in numbers among the feeding trees. Iguanas are masters at camouflage and it takes a keen eye to locate them in the green surroundings. An iguana that remains very still in the branches is very difficult 
to detect. It is much easier to locate an iguana that is moving through the branches. Although it is very rare for you to see them moving through the branches as iguanas can see in full color and once they spot a human they would go in camouflage mode which makes it very difficult for you to see them. Iguanas usually has a diet of young leaves, shoots, flowers, and small insects. Their sticky tongue allows them to pick up ants that crawl along the branches. Their eyes are located in such a manner that they have a 360 degree view. So it is not possible for you to sneak up on an iguana without being detected. Iguanas are cold-blooded animals. They usually need to take a sun bath to heat up and get the energy they need to move around. Feeding on the treetops has the benefit of younger shoots while storing up energy from the sun, but this also opens them to attack by birds of prey. During periods of rain, the larger iguanas would lie motionless to conserve their energy. The younger iguanas doesn't seem to mind the rain as much. All of the varieties of iguana found in Trinidad has the ability to change their color from various shades of green to yellows to greys and even browns. The younger iguanas usually sport the green and yellowish shades. The more mature iguana are the ones that usually display the grey or even brown shades. After a healthy meal, the iguanas usually like to perch on an end branch where they can catch some of the sun's rays. They are always on the lookout for attack. They usually rely on their camouflage to keep them safe. But an iguana will not hesitate to dive off its perch onto the ground. A hundred feet and even more they will be protected by the cartilage in their rib cage. An iguana, when threatened, will dive to the ground and take off running. It is not often that an iguana has to run from attack. Its camouflage works very well. You can see how difficult it is to find the iguanas in these branches.
it is always easier to spot a moving iguana. Iguanas are most active during the hours of the rising sun and the setting sun. They are usually resting during the midday period and that makes them very difficult to see. This territorial male on an exposed immortal tree is trying to find a comfortable spot where he can rest for the coming night. <laughs> 